guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add another level to this game we made in the past video. Now, in the last video, we added coins, and you can jump with the space key, and you can do all these other cool things. But now, in part three, we are going to add another level, and that level would be Mars. When you reach the end of this track, you go to Mars. So right here, you go to Mars. And the first level would be Earth. And here on Mars, you have a different car, as you can see, different wheels, and different gravity. So when you jump, you fall um, with less gravity, because there's less gravity in, on Mars than on Earth in real life. And also, as you can see, different colors in the background and a different background. So don't forget to subscribe and like and turn on notifications. Let's get started. So, for the last step, we are going to add another level. And this will be the first level with a Jeep on Earth. And the second level will be um, a buggy on Mars. And it will also be less gravity, because on Mars there's less gravity than on Earth. So, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do, and we're going to make uh, new wheels for the car, for the buggy. Um, obviously, another car, we're going to add the buggy. And then a new ground, so that it looks like Mars. And that it's a different, like, different hills and things. Okay, so we're going to go to the costumes of the Jeep. And just go ahead and upload the buggy. And there is my buggy. So we need to change the size of it. Be sure to change the size of it in the costumes. Because if you change it here, the size of the Jeep will change too. So then the Jeep won't fit in the wheels. So... Make sure you change it here. So, it gets smaller. And now, just like we did for the Jeep, the center is going to be the back, where the back wheel is going to go for the buggy. So, remember how we did for the Jeep here? Like that. We're going to do the same for the buggy. And, we're going to do that. Let's make it a bit smaller. even smaller and I think that that is good next I'm gonna go ahead and add another design of wheel for the buggy so I'm gonna go to the rear wheel sprite and I'm going to add to duplicate the costume and I'm just gonna add bumps on the side of the wheel with circles so that I can uh, make it look like an off-road car wheel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Or you can use the paint brush and just draw spots with um, black fill. Or you can make small circles, it's up to you. And there we go. Let's make the spots, make sure it's like about the same distance away from each other. And next I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger. So do that drag it by the corner so that it gets bigger and then center it and then here let's move it on the screen so that we see how it looks and then when you think it's a good size make sure you center it don't forget it and yeah so next I'm gonna go ahead and make you see those four like shapes in the center of the wheel i'm gonna make two of them black and two of them white the two blacks will be um diagonally away from each other so that it looks like, like a cool design in the inner wheel and next i'm gonna do the same for the front wheel make another wheel so duplicate the normal wheel add the bumps on the side Like I said before, make sure they're an e about an equal distance away, and I'm going to do the same inner design thing. Alright, so there you go. I think that's good. Let's just go ahead and put this in the front here so you can see exactly how it looks. And I think that is very good. So let's test it. 
and there shouldn't be anything wrong because all we did was change the costumes so let's go ahead see so there's the buggy and there are the coins when we touch the coins we collect them coins collected goes up by one and yeah i think everything works so that's good next i'm just gonna go to the ground costumes and i'm gonna make another ground for mars okay so i'm gonna do it in a very simple way just duplicate the costume select all of it and flip horizontal but that's only to save time and don't make this video too long but you can draw a whole new ground now what i am going to do is select all of it Control a and we're going to make it different colors because on mars there's no grass so the inside will just be a brown Oop. orange brown something like that and then the outline will be almost the same just a bit darker um, let's see how it is here um, and I think that's good so let's test it and when the buggy falls it falls all the way to the bottom of the screen and that is because these two colors are different colors than what the ground colors, I mean, the earth ground colors were. So there's no code that tells it, that tells the buggy to stop on these colors. So I'm going to go ahead in the code and code um, to, for the buggy to stop on these colors as well as the ground, the earth ground colors as well. So the first code we're going to go to is the rear wheel. And basically we're going to do this for every single one. So touching color green and green for earth as we remember was uh, the outline right so this color on the outline will be this we want the same thing to happen when it's touching the color uh, this green so I'm gonna copy duplicate this I'm gonna pick a color it's gonna be this color right here and we're just gonna get an or block so touching color this or this and for this one this was the inner color for the earth so we're gonna go ahead and pick the inner color from Mars we're gonna put that there and that there and then same for over here this was the green color which was the outline that means you got to pick this color right here and again an or block okay there we go and that's it for the rear wheel now let's go to the front wheel and here for the touching color green duplicate it make it the outline color and make an do an or block put an or block so for this one instead of this is going to be the inner color take out the inner color put an or block code in and the coin which is the last one also has these two uses of it colors the touching colors so the outline here an or block and then the last one here which is the inner color let's go ahead and pick a color from the screen put an or block and put in here and that should work so let's go ahead and test it um, there's the buggy. As you can see, now it stops on these colors and it does what it would do on the earth colors. Right, so that works. So the last thing we are going to do is just make a way to switch levels. Okay, so first, before we do that, at the beginning of the game, we need it to go to earth because earth is going to be the first level. So let's go to the ground and when green flag clicked we want a way to tell ourselves and the other sprites to switch to like their earth costumes so 
to tell the other sprites to do thing, you gotta broadcast. So we'll make a new broadcast message, and we will call it Earth. Okay. And when I receive Earth, it's basically gonna do this. So at the beginning, it's gonna go to X this, and then set last point my variable to that. All right. And then we're gonna switch our costume to what would be the uh, Earth which for me is costume one, right? Costume one would be Earth, yeah, okay? And then, like I said, we need a way to switch on to the next level. So, uh, what we're going to do is when the land from Earth ends, we're just going to move on to Mars. So, let's see, we need a position when the land ends. So we will ask ourselves something like, if x position is smaller than a certain value, that we'll find out in just a second, then we will have to do Mars. So broadcast Mars, we'll turn everything into Mars. Okay, And I'll make the broadcast message right after we find out this value right here, which we find out by just going to the end of the track and see what our x position is. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going, try to go something like low speed, so that, um, we don't fall over the cliff. Okay. Okay, so our X is currently about 1,500, let's keep moving, 1,000. Hundred. Let's see where. Oh, and there is where my um, cliff ends. So I think when we reach about negative one hundred, we should move on to the next one. So here would be the value negative one hundred. Right, and that's when we'll broadcast a new message called Mars. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and duplicate the when I receive Earth and change it to Mars because we're going to basically do almost the exact same thing. So when I receive Mars, go to and the set, the variable is the same. Just switch costume to costume 2 instead of costume 1. Okay, let's go ahead and test it. So the car falls on Earth, which is good. And let's go ahead and drive all the way to the end to see how it switches onto uh, Mars. There we go. So, we're getting close to the point where it switches. And about here, there you go, it switched to Mars. Now, it switched to Mars, but the car and the wheels didn't change. So, let's go ahead and make them change. So, first, we're going to do the car. So, let's click on the Jeep and the car. And what we're going to do is uh, when I receive Earth, we are just going to switch costume to a Jeep. And then when I receive Mars, we're going to switch costume to Buggy. Okay? And so we're going to do about the same thing for the rear wheel and front wheel. We'll start the rear wheel. And what we're going to do is when I receive Earth, First of all, we wanted to set these variables. We wanted to go to this X and Y position, which I'm actually going to make it 200 so that it starts on the left side of the screen. Oh, negative 200, sorry. And yeah, we're going to have to set those values because that's what we did at the beginning of the game here. One, two, five, six. And that's when I receive Earth. And then we're going to duplicate this. And don't forget to switch costume for both. So costume two for this wheel would be the um, Mars wheel. The wheel I'm gonna use for Mars. Okay, so there you go. Now that's good. And for the front wheel, um, when I receive Earth, Set that there. Don't forget to change the X for this one too. And since the difference between the wheels is 75, 
This one will be negative 125, because the other one was negative 200. Alright. And then this one will be for Mars. Don't forget to do the switch costume for both of them. Like I said, um, Earth would be costume 1, and Mars would be costume 2. Okay. So that looks good. And let's go ahead and test it. Okay. There we go. We have the Jeep on Earth with the normal wheels. And there we go. Okay. Let's ride to all the way to um, the end where we switch to Mars. And we'll see if what we did worked. Okay. Slow it down a bit. And there we go. We started from the top, and the uh, it changed to the buggy, and the wheels changed, and we're on Mars, so that worked. The coins are still there and everything, so that is perfect. So the last thing we're going to do is we want different gravities for Mars and for Earth. So we need a variable that I will call gravity because it will change uh, the gravity. Okay, and we want to set this gravity to something when we're on Mars or when we are on Earth. So let's go to the ground. And when I receive Earth, we will uh, set the gravity variable to negative 0 0.1 uh, because negative because it has to go down and then 0 0.1 because that's the gravity I want for Earth. And then go ahead and duplicate this. And when Mars, we will set gravity to negative 0 0.05 because there's less gravity. And then we need to apply this gravity to the game. So we will just change fall speed by gravity in the rear wheel and the front wheel so that we fall with gravity, a variable gravity. All right, so let's test it. Okay. And let's check out the gravity for Earth. And I think that's, I mean, like, looks like what gravity would be like on Earth. And let's just keep driving our car on Earth until we go on Mars, okay? Keep going and keep going. And here's the spot we switch to Mars. And... There you go. You can tell that there's less gravity when we come off a hill or a cliff. Um, here, let me get a better look. Look, right now, it stays in the air more. So there's, that means there's less gravity, okay? And, yeah, that's good. So, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video, and may the code be with you.